In this video, we are going to learn how to download sounds from the Roland Axial website and put them into the Integra 7. Let's begin by looking at the sounds that are available for the Integra 7. For our example today, we are going to use the sounds of the Jupiter 8 collection, powered by Synth Legends. As you can see, we have the ability to listen to the various sounds of the collection and also download the collection from this page. Press the download button to begin the download. Now press on the button here and select Show in Finder. There's the collection that we downloaded. Just double click on the zip folder and it will create a folder that has all of the files that we need inside. First off, let's go to the README file and open it. As you see, there are 23 studio sets and 30 synth tones. Also, you can view the contents that are in the folder. So first is the Roland folder, next is the sound list, and third is the README text, which we are reading now. When loaded in the sounds of the collection, you have two options. One, you can restore the sounds in the Integra 7 from a backup file, but if you do this, it will erase all saved user data on the Integra 7, so this might not be the best way to bring in sounds. The second way is to import the data. The cool thing about this is that you can import the studio sets and tones that you choose. You don't have to bring in all the data. Plus, you can keep all of the user data that you have created inside the Integra 7. So let's begin and click on the Roland folder that we downloaded in the collection, and I'm going to open another window that is the USB thumb drive from the Integra 7. All we have to do is drag and drop the Roland folder into the USB thumb drive. Once the folder and the files have been copied, eject the thumb drive and insert it into your Integra 7. Now that we've loaded the sounds from the Axial site to a USB drive that has been previously formatted by the Integra 7, let's load those sounds into the Integra 7. Press Menu. Now let's cursor to Utility. Press the Enter button. Now let's go to Import. Press the Enter button. As you see, we have two files available to us. The current file that is highlighted is incorrect. If you look to the right of the screen, you'll see it will say File Info. So as you can see, there is no information on that file. Let's cursor down to the file below. Once again, look at File Info. You'll see that we have 23 studio sets available in this file. You'll also notice that we have 30 Supernatural Synth Tones also available to us. Let's import these sounds. Press the Enter button. If you spin the dial wheel, you can view the studio sets that are available in this file. Let's cursor to the Supernatural Synth tab to view the Supernatural Synth tones that are available. Use the dial wheel to view the available tones. Now let's cursor back to Studio Sets. So if you look to the top left of the screen, you see it says Studio Set. Under Studio Set, it says Mark. Mark lets you decide which studio sets or tones you actually import into the Integra 7. To mark or unmark a studio set or tone, use the increment buttons. So right now, it's on 001, slow JP8, low strings. If I press the decrement button, you see it unmarks that selection. By unmarking the selection, when I actually import everything, that selection will not be imported. To reselect that studio set, press the increment button. And once again, it is marked. Now that we have a better understanding of the marking procedure, let's press the Enter button. Now that we've pressed the Enter button, you'll see that this screen allows me to select the destination of the studio sets. So as you can see, here's some of the different studio sets that are inside the Integra 7. 
and it's going to actually start them on number 17. If I wanted to, once again, by pressing the decrement or increment button, I could determine where the studio sets are placed. I'm happy with the selection, so I'm going to press Enter and begin the import process. Press Enter. Cursor to the right to select OK. Now press Enter again. Let's check and make sure that we've imported the studio sets and tones correctly. First, let's check the studio sets. Press the menu button. Now cursor to studio set select. Press the enter button. Now use our dial wheel to scroll through the studio sets. And here you go. Starting in number 17, you can see that the studio sets have been imported into the Integra 7. To select the studio set, just press the enter button. Now, let's find the synth tones that we imported into the Integra 7. Let's press the supernatural tone button. Now let's spin the dial wheel and look through the new tones that we have imported. Let's take a look at this tone. So this is a supernatural synth tone. It's in our user section. It's number seven. There is the title and it is in the synth brass category. To select this sound to play it, press the enter button.